millions of Greeks have voted in a crucial referendum on whether to accept the terms of an international bailout. Opinion polls released as voting ended suggested a slight lead for the no vote. No exit polls were published. The first official results are expected in the coming hours. The government had urged people to vote no, while the Yes campaign warned that this could see Greece ejected from the Eurozone. The governing radical left Syriza party has criticized the bailout terms as humiliating. Its leading figures say rejecting the terms could give them more leverage in talks over the country's massive debt. Prime Minister Alexis Tsipras said on Sunday that a no would show Greece's determination not only to stay in Europe but to live with dignity in Europe. However, International creditors have warned that a no vote could choke off vital funding for Greek banks and lead to Grexit, a chaotic departure from the common European currency. The Yes campaign has framed the vote as a referendum on Greek membership of the Eurozone. By the afternoon, local media were reporting a high turnout. In the end I went for Yes, one voter in Athens, Maya Korba, told the BBC. I don't really know what both answers will mean and to be honest I'm not happy with either, but we have to hope. Banks have been shut and capital controls in place since the start of the week, after the European Central Bank declined to give Greece more emergency funding. Withdrawals at cash machines have been limited to 60 euros per day. The country's current bailout expired on Tuesday and Greece missed a euro 1.6 bn, pound 1.1 bn, payment to the International Monetary Fund, IMF. Casting his ballot, Finance Minister Yanis Varoufakis described the referendum as a holy moment that gives hope that the common currency and democracy can co exist. Mr Varoufakis earlier told local media that the EU had no legal grounds to throw Greece out of the euro. The finance minister said banks would reopen on Tuesday, whatever the outcome, and that Mr. Tsipras would still reach an agreement with creditors if the result was no in the referendum. French Economy Minister Emmanuel Macron said negotiations should continue even in the case of a win for the no vote, and that Europe could not crush an entire people. Meanwhile, German Finance Minister Wolfgang Schiebel, one of Greece's harshest critics, suggested that if Greece were to leave the Eurozone, it might only be temporary. Greece was a member of the Eurozone, whether with the euro or temporarily without it, only the Greeks can answer this question, he told the German newspaper Bild on Saturday. And it is clear that we will not leave the people in the lurch. Electoral workers have raced to get polling stations ready in time, with army helicopters being used instead of boats to rush ballot papers to the islands. Nearly 10 million people are eligible to vote. Several European officials have complained in strong terms about Greece's abrupt decision to hold a referendum on the terms of a bailout offer they say is no longer on the table. Greece's Syriza-led government was elected in January on an anti-austerity platform. The European Commission, one of the troika of creditors along with the IMF and the European Central Bank, wants Athens to raise taxes and slash welfare spending to meet its debt obligations.